and what good morning. Guys? I am looking so pretty today. <laughs> I'm not making my. I've been sick all week. Not all week. I've been sick since Wednesday. And Bobby's been sick. So, anyways, that's why I sound funny. But today's Saturday. Today's chore day. And for the past three Saturdays, Bobby has been doing some extra chores so that she could earn three? some. Yeah, so three, three Saturdays. Saturdays. So that she can earn some money. What is that? What is it? Is it coins? Cats? Coins, yeah. Um, so she, okay, a little bit of backstory. Bobby's been doing chores since what, 10 months, nine months old? <gasps> Thank you. Thanks for helping. <gasps> Thank, oh, dropped it. Dropped it. Thank you. <gasps> oh. Ever since she could crawl and pull her stuff up on stuff, Oh, you want to say hi? So. Hi. <laughs> She's been doing chores. She start, first started helping us just unload the silverware, and then she started helping us unload the entire bottom, and now she's doing silverware, bottom, and top of the dishwasher, and she is also um, picking up her room, putting her books away. What other ones is she, is she doing? Garbages. Oh, yeah, she does garbages with Tucker. Cleaning her room. Cleaning her room. Um, anyways, and so, like I said, three Saturdays ago, we started doing... Like, she just started doing it. Like, the dishes... Yeah, we never started, asked her. Well, like, she would just, like, grab stuff, and then we're like, oh, well, and she's she already handed. grabbing it. We should, might as well just hand it over to us. So, like, Bobby, can we have that? And Jen, she just started picking up, like, oh, this goes towards parents' hands. Mm -hmm. And so then she would grab it, hand it to us, and she started just super simple. It was just silverware. That's just all. Just the silverware. And then, that was it. And, and she then slowly upgraded. Slowly upgraded to like the bottom. Now she's helping out with like the top shelf. Now she's actually grabbing things like cutting boards and then putting it inside of the oh, yeah, I uh, shelf. So like she's just over time she's just graduated into doing a little bit more every single time. Yep. And she's only two. We so need to record it. That's really her, impressive. Her, like, Anyways, so like I said, she started to earn money. So Tucker and I talked three weeks ago. I'm like, why don't we start in implementing money? She already does chores. Why don't we start having you do pay chores? and start helping, start doing the basics of teaching her the value of money. Mm -hmm. And so, um, last, I mean, she's cleaned some baseboards, just, I mean, it's not like the whole house. She does like a little section. She did some cupboards in our kitchen. Today, what did you do today to earn money? Did you clean the window? Did you wipe the window? Uh-huh. <laughs> she's thinking about it. She wiped the our sliding glass door window. They rubbed some spots down on the walls and on the door she right down the fridge cabinets. right down the cupboards or cabinets or whatever the railing to the stairs railing to the stairs she likes so she did a lot today yeah you earned your money huh so today we're going to the store to have her reap the what is it called the fruits of her labor reap the rewards yeah what is it i don't want to on it reap the rewards of her yeah labor. reap the rewards of her labor so um, now we're showing her that when you earn money, um, you can go buy something with it and over time we'll teach her, okay, do you want to save it, do you want to spend it, but she's only two right now, so we're, yeah. we're going to let her enjoy spending her money. So um, like here's, here's the thing about Bobby, she's really busy, she's a very mm -hmm. busy body, she has a very busy mind. What we've been trying to do is kind of, let's just like calm her soul a little bit just because she's so active and so go, 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 Just go, help go, her go. process things. But help her process, like... We would get down to like the door when we're wiping down the door and like help her see the spots, wipe down the spot, and then after that, um, help her just notice that the spot isn't there. Mm -hmm. So like we're helping her see what that's cool. That's helping really her see the the her actions in like take place and then what happens after uh -huh. she does like cool things. Yeah. Um, and so with that though, she is also very busy. So because of that reason, we just automatically assume that the. Um, we automatically assume that chores would be good for her, mm -hmm. and they've been excellent for her. Just been awesome. she loves doing things, she, she loves, loves helping. helping out, um, and it's just been really cool watching her just learn and grow and have fun. I think with me, I need to get better at just helping her. I didn't, I didn't care about having fun doing chores because I love just doing the work. But like with her, it might be a little bit different. Yeah, so like have having fun, fun yeah. Um, and, but like still, like being able to have fun by working your butt off. Mm -hmm. That's that's where I have fun. It's just like putting a heart. Mm -hmm. Day in and just you know knowing that you did good. Well, well that's why I think having like these coins, seeing and I created her a piggy bank, let's see through so she can actually see it and see her coins going in there. So 
Sure, she might not completely understand what's going on, but the more we keep doing it, the more she's gonna start to understand and be like, oh wow, I when I do a next chore, mom and dad will give me some money. And so, um, well, we've been teaching her the words. So, so yeah, like, we'll so go like, and we'll do something, and it'll say, "Hey, this is a nickel," or "Hey, this is." Have a her dime. say what have it is. Have her say it, and then she puts it inside of a jar. Mm -hmm. So we're just slowly starting to teach her just the basics. And I, I think one thing we've learned as being parents is like you really have to slow down. Like our lives are so busy so fast that you just you don't even have to like really think about it. Like it's amazing. Like you have to teach your kids the basics of everything Absolute where it comes basics. so natural to us we just don't think about it you know and so just teaching Bobby the simple thing as this is a nickel or a dime or a quarter and having her say that yeah she doesn't know the value this of it yet but she's starting to know the name of it so anyway so we're going to the store for her to go buy something and we're gonna go have her actually hand the money over to the people and so it's just great living experiences all around. So we're pretty excited. Ha, huh, are you excited to go buy something? Hey, Miss. Oh, Owen's excited. <laughs> Missy. Bobby. Are you excited to go buy something with your money? <gasps> yes, you are. <laughs> okay, let's go buy something. Chips. <laughs> what do you think? Excited to go buy something? You want to ride on that? Money? You want to ride on it? Hey, we can ride on it. She loves those. It's Bobby's. This one? Yes, she loves those. They wet. Here Get we on. go. Bobby, what do you want to buy with your money? What do you want to get? What? Chips? Maybe? I don't know if there's a toy for 85 cents, but... You can go see if there's a toy. Sorry. Oh, look, come here. See all this right here? That's $10. We don't have enough for $10. All we have is this. We only have 85 cents. So we gotta go find something. We have something. to find something. We have to find something that matches 85 cents. Or we save up and buy something bigger. Yeah, See, that's look, that's cool. that's thirty dollars. That's thirty dollars. We have to work a lot more. Let's see. Yeah, that's we could get you. A, why don't we go? Do you want to get a candy? We need some candy. We could probably get candy with that. Candy? Here, let's go this way, baby. This way, baby. So we didn't realize that everything at Walmart is basically a dollar or two. Here there's nothing cents. here for eighty-five cents. But we did find something. So, Bobby. Okay, Bobby, come here. Oh, look, you have eighty. Seven cents, we can get you, where is it? <gasps> Look, we can get you some Starburst. No. For it, you can't, no. oh. oh. Those are 70, oh, those are, those are peanut M&Ms and you can't have peanut M&Ms, okay? But you can have really yummy Starburst for your money. <gasps> is that so fun? Okay, come here, this way. Let's go this way. I don't need it yet, come here. Are that candy with your money? Come here, this way, honey. You keep slipping in those shoes. Are you excited to buy your candy? Nothing. There's nothing at Walmart. Is it recording? There's nothing here at Walmart for like less than a less dollar. than eighty cents. <laughs> Maybe like two things. Yeah, we found Everything two things. Everything we've been seeing is like ninety-seven, ninety-seven, ninety-seven. Yeah. Two dollars. So this is good. Now we know that she needs yeah. to have a dollar or more, more before dollar, coming here. <laughs> before coming to Walmart, at least we could try Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. Or yeah, whatever. we could try that. So yeah, I'm excited. Now we're gonna actually go to an actual checkout person so she can learn how to do this. Wait, have her do it. Have her do it. There you go. Give these up to her. You go put those on her thing. Hey, 91 cents. 91? No. Just how to reach. Just how to reach. Okay, hold on, baby. Wait, just wait. Stay there. They're counting your money. 90, you got a penny? Candy? Oh, come here. Do you want me to open it for you? Yes. Okay. Here, come out of the way. Okay, then talk to me. Are you excited for earning your candy? So we're going to do this, and you're going to keep earning money so you can buy more stuff, okay? <laughs> Say, okay, Mama. Hey, Mom. Okay, kisses. Hey, you go give me kisses. Love you. Let me open your candy. We all learned good lessons. We learned. Don't go to Walmart for dollar things. Don't, yeah, exactly. Don't go to Walmart for dollar things. 
for a Star Wars thing that was 78 cents, this is still 97 cents with tax. It's not like he says a Star Wars. Starburst. Sorry, I should pronunciate. Um, you can get more after lunch, okay? After lunch. But was that fun? <laughs> What's that face? Did you like earning money to go buy a candy? Was that fun? Okay, yeah. we're gonna keep doing that. So yeah, that was a fun. Now we know not to go to Walmart for anything less than a dollar. <laughs> but this is a great experience. We're really excited. Work more. Yeah, and just work more a few more weeks. Yeah, pools next week maybe. So yeah, this is awesome. I'm really excited. So like we said, she's been doing chores for a while, and now we're teaching her. You can get stuff with your money you get, and the hard work, and. All that good stuff because so we, have, we have her normal chores that she has mm -hmm. to do. She doesn't get paid. She gets That's required. Normal, she has her required chores. Yep, normal stuff, and then she can do extra stuff to earn more. Yep, exactly. And like Tucker and I have agreed that like we're not gonna unless it's like Christmas or their birthday. Yeah, sure, we'll buy and stuff. But like if our kids want something, we're not just gonna go buy it for them. Like they have to earn it. Um, unless like. If Bobby's been really, really good with behavior and chores, maybe we can go buy her a cute little thing just to say thank you and for all the hard work. But it like, was still 91 cents though. Yeah, like that was still, still 13 cents for tax. That was crazy. crazy. Anyways, but yeah, like we don't, like our kids have to earn their stuff. I think that was off. What? 13 cents for something that's not even a dollar? I don't think that's right. That's more than, usually it's like, unless they like just upped it. Um, so yeah, because all of our, we just want our kids to work for their things because then they take better care of it. Like if you have people buying you stuff all the time, you don't really take care of it. But if they buy it themselves, they take care of it more. And so, um, we're teaching them to buy their own things and to earn money and to work hard. And that's adult life. We have to do that, do that as adults. We don't just, or I'm not just given stuff as adults. And so this is great lessons for her to learn and she's gonna be an example to Owen when he's older and things like that. So this is really fun. We're really excited that we're able to show this to her and continue to show it to her, huh? And also we've noticed that she's just she's just wired for this stuff. Like mm -hmm. she loves knows, tasks. Who knows what Owen's gonna be like. So we've just noticed with her, she likes doing things, she likes being busy. She likes staying active and she loves helping. Mm -hmm. So like we just put all that together. We just like are helping her with who she is and just helping develop her that. develop and grow at the rate that she actually can. Mm -hmm. You know? So like with him, it might not might be, be that way. We might have to work different. harder with him uh, with like chores, for example. Yeah, and with Bobby, she, we can bribe Bobby <laughs> with stuff. <laughs> oh, you want to do this? Then you have to do this first. Like she's, so we don't know what Owen's going to be like. Um, and so it'll be interesting. We're just adapting as parents to yep. what we are seeing coming back to us as trends. And yep. we just pivot. Yep, exactly. And I actually wrote a blog post about this. If you haven't checked it out, I'll put the link in the description as well, or on the video. But I wrote about how um, basically we have to be completely different parents to each one of our kids because the way we are with Bobby, there, there's no way we can be the same with Owen. Like, I've already noticed that. Owen is completely 180 degrees different from Bobby. Like, I can't comfort him the same. He likes different things than what Bobby liked. And so, just same thing as growing up. Like, we're probably, we might have to change and adapt how we do chores, how we teach him to where it suits him. And and then teach Bobby somewhere, something different. And we have already started to notice that. And so, anyways, I'll put the link in the description so you can check that out. But we're excited for this experience and keep moving onwards and upwards. Huh? Heart, heart, like, and subscribe. Yeah, Let us know. hit that like button. Let us know how you guys are implementing chores or paid chores, or at least getting your kids to help you out uh, in the comments. Yes, let us know below. Okay, bye guys. Say bye, Bobby. She's tired. <laughs> Bye.